Hello and welcome along. Today on Sandy Bay, we're going to be doing a corn harvest. We have field 13 nicely full of corn ready to go. Uh, we need to harvest some for our pigs and uh, the rest will just go in storage. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into the combine and get to it. Start her up. Uh, unfold. And there's nothing to unfold on the header for once. There we go. And away we go. So, yeah, it's about as wide as the combine, this header. So. Not a wide header at all. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it may take us a little time to do this field with this header. The trouble is, the next header up is huge in comparison. The little combines don't have a lot, of, you know, um, massive headers to use. Or they do have massive headers to use, but they don't have augers that are long enough to accommodate them. But we should be alright. That'll just take a little longer than this episode, I think, to, uh, to do this field. So I may have to finish it off off camera. but we'll get a big chunk of it done today, I think. We'll see how we go. So yeah, this is, um, I planted this field mainly uh, so that we'd have some corn for the pigs. The actual, uh, the header we have on the combine, I don't think we own, I think it's actually a rented header. So uh, we will, we, mainly because we're not planning to use a corn header that often. Not until the farm gets bigger and we get a, uh, a bigger combine, really. So there's no point in getting a second header for it. Uh, we don't have any sunflowers planted either. I think if I did have sunflowers uh, as well, I would probably have got something a little bigger. Just so that we were... Um, yeah, we weren't using a, uh, well, I think this might be a six meter head. No, this isn't even a six meter head, I don't think. Because uh, obviously it's very tight and making sure that it's um, it fits everything. So that we are about halfway around the field. And we're 35% full, so it's about a round and a half this field. Should give us a full tank. That's quite a good yield, that is. Uh, and our trailer will take three full tanks, so uh, we will have to empty the trailer once we do um, three and a half ways around the headland. No. Three, four and a half ways around the headland. So four ways around the headland will give us a full trailer. That's good. Yeah, 44%. Are we only going to be 50% by the time we get... I may be wrong. It may be two rounds of the headland. Yeah, we're 48% 40, and coming back up to the entrance of the field. 49, yeah, it's not going to be two-thirds. It's going to be around a half. A tank for the field. Yeah, just over. Right, so up. Reverse. Get another clean shot at it. So we're going to have to go and get the tractor and trailer when we get down the far end of the field, I think. We 
Fucking hell. Use that a little bit. Keep nice and straight on that. That is the nice thing about doing uh, corn. Is that it, it does stay. If you're on a row, it is really easy to follow. Stick the steering column down the middle of the row, and away you go. When you're not in a row, not so easy. But it still works. It still works nicely. So yeah, I need to I need to get this first. Uh, our pigs do need some uh, need some of this. I quite like to get the first load into them, but it's quite a big trailer to manoeuvre. So uh, let's have to see how we go on that. Probably leave the hired worker going while we uh, go and empty. Oh, go and empty the trailer first time. It'll be a little way into the field before we actually empty the trailer. I think we're making we're making good time around the field. I we're, we're going to have the headlands done within sort of halfway through the episode, I think. We're going to do four headland. Um, that's good progress, that is. Uh, that, that will make me happy if we can manage that. We're at 80%, so yeah, we are going to have to go and pop and grab the tractor uh, when we get to the end of this. In the meantime, we will pop the auger out. Let's go get the tractor and put it on follow me. Here it is. I'm going to go go risk going down the side of the field here. I'm hoping there's enough space to turn around at the far end. Yeah, there is. Good. I know if we go to the end of the road with the tractor, then uh, we will have done a full tank's worth. We'll get them up to 25%. So that will take, then the tractor and trailer will take four loads of us. There we go. That's going to remain there now. We have, it has done its job for now. Put our spout back in and away we go again. Oh. 
Right, so into the next, so this is our third round of the field. Our third headland, so this and one more. And we can get into the main body of the field. Quite difficult to get screenshots with corn. Trouble is, it's so tall that it uh, hides most of the combine. We are. So I'm trying to think. So what do we got to do uh, these episodes? So we need to get um, we need to get this corn harvested. So we've, uh, we've got that this episode. Uh, we need to collect up bales. So we're going to be starting to do some co bale collection with the Merlot. We uh, need two new pieces of equipment for that. So uh, we will be grabbing those. Uh, what else do we need? Um, so that will probably be next episode. And then... What do we need to do after that? We've got, well, we need to get started on cultivating and reseeding these fields. Uh, we are going to be doing some oilseed radish on some of them uh, and uh, some winter crops on others. That's the thing with the oilseed radish, it's uh, you need to either skip a crop or you've got to get them in and uh, and not do a winter crop with them. And they essentially are a winter crop that you plough in at the beginning of springtime or cultivate in at the beginning of springtime. Hopefully increase your well. They are fifty percent increase in yield, so you know that's that is well worth it. So we could all see vanish everything, to be honest, and uh, and just get the John Deere doing that on course play maybe. Would not be the worst of ideas that, but we do need to go and pick up. The, uh, the bales first because the fields the fields that we have to plant either are covered in straw or covered in bales so yeah in both instances they need to go before we uh, we start planting right last headland and we can start cutting into the main body of the field. that well this whole field may actually fit I don't know it may actually fit in the trailer I don't know I don't think it's going to be more than two trailers worth uh, yeah definitely not more than two trailers worth there's not that much crop here. We did uh, we did fertilise and everything, but I can't remember if this is the field that needed plat. I think we might have replowed this as well. That is the thing, of course. Actually, everything needs ploughing. For the most part. Uh, 
also radish we will uh, direct seed if we uh, we need to should be able to so we can, actually we could do that one episode we'll see we'll see what we do for the third episode we may do um, animal work we're actually okay for for now uh, beyond feeding the pigs some of this uh, everything else I think is okay um, this is what we have to do ah yeah I think we might need to do some grass to feed the cows uh, that's why their productivity is slightly down uh, I will have a look at that though and see what we need as our cows are actually a very important part of the farm daily they uh, they pay for basically everything else uh, when we hit the winter months we are I am sorely gonna miss their uh, their monetary input each day that is gonna be well that's why we would need to get a good amount of money together before we go into winter because the cows won't produce any milk over the winter as a result our funds are going to be severely limited I think they, can't, they currently bring in about £10,000 a day uh, and our outgoings are about six or seven so as long as we can keep some money back for, the, uh, for that we should be okay And with any luck, we can uh, look at some new machinery next spring. But either way, we are way off that yet. Right, so we are at 89%. Uh, so what we'll do is, uh, at the end of this row, we'll just pull up and empty because we're about to cut into the crop so there we go We'll get that up to nearly 50%. I think. Uh, 48, 49, yeah, nearly 50%. Close enough. Grab these stragglers while we're here. about here I think quite good right so we'll put this down the middle here and then that makes it nice and easy to follow so we can do two more loads from our combine into our trailer it is quite a big trailer for this combo and I'm, uh, I'm considering swapping him out for the Marsons Uh, it's quite useful for us with, our, uh, with the let's plays though because it means that we don't have to cart that often uh, but the alternative with the carting would be to get course play set up and when we do have to cart we'll just put a worker on the combine actually to be honest And 
in. And, and away we go back. So, yeah, it is nice and easy to line up with this. That's really quite nice. Right, we're going to have that lined up. Okay, that's a couple of nice shots. I think it's going to be a rear shot of the combine today. We'll go back in cab because we're going we're going off course when we're not in cab, which is quite something. Normally, it's it's easier to do things in third person, but not so with this. Not when you've got such a small header on the combine. Much easier to be in the actual cab. And just line up your your combine on the on the right. Plus, I like being in here. This is this is one of the true ah the fantastic bits of this game. Forwards. So about 30% from two rows. Uh, so 60, 90 and unload, I think is going to be what it is. Which will be, which will work quite well. We will, uh, we won't, certainly won't have finished this section of the field at that point. So I think, but I do think, look at the time, that may be uh, where we finish the next time we unload. Yeah, we're at 45%, 46%, so... Uh, 50%. There we go. It's uh, definitely going to be uh, one more trailer load. I don't. Uh, one more tank from the combine. Sorry. I don't think that there is enough um, uh, enough time left for us to do more than that. If we if we did an hour long episode or two episodes on this, then we might have enough time to do the whole field. Uh, but uh, as it stands, we'll make, we'll make about three quarters of a trailer. Yeah, there we go. Sixty sixty one percent. Back onto our line. It's yeah, it is working really well. This header and this combine on this, it's actually getting through the field quite quickly. It's only we'll only really create or only do two cuttings looking at this uh, how far I've gone in I think quite fearful of going out of the cab I don't know maybe three three is quite possible so that's a fair amount of field to go 
Uh, we're going to hit 75. Yes, there we go. 75%. So one more. And we'll unload. So, there we go. We are a good way into the field now. Part of me is wondering whether I should create some uh, some chaff from this field. Whether that would be worth it. But, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I don't know if I had a plan to originally chaff a section of this field or not. We have silage bales, so it wouldn't be to feed the... Uh, no, I don't, I don't think we will. Uh, there is plenty of opportunity to do stuff with the BGA later. Um, I don't think we need to chaff this. Right, so at 91%, we will get this into the crop. Deal with that strangeness. Right. Get this lined up. Yeah, there's at least two more cuts into the field to do. Follow me on. Away we go again. So this should get. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, this should get our tracks up to 75%. Seem to, it can't seem to get the speed right, even though I'm going at a constant speed. Drives like I do. 75, there we go. So he can remain there. Alright, I think we might... Yeah. We'll do another row. Try and get this bit of the field out. Ah. There we go. at some point. So we have one more tank from this combine that that tractor can take. Which will be just enough Yeah, we're just enough that uh, I think we'll get a trailer and a half off this field. We'll be about right. Ah, now this end doesn't have a full, or has more than one full width to go. Right, so we are at about the half hour mark. So while I keep going, so this is going to be interesting. This we'll see how well this works. I'm going to do that and say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. 
please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.